or some local companies are calling for other forms of help beyond just financial aid. Employers are hoping for more targeted assistance as the job support scheme comes to an end with the final payouts from the end of the month. The scheme has been providing wage support for employers to help retain their staff. Leisha Ott Rodney reports. The Paradise Group did not lay off any of its workers last year amid the pandemic. That's because of the job support scheme payouts it received from the government. As social restrictions ease for larger groups to dine together, the company is ramping up its hiring to cope with the expected higher demand. It aims to bring in at least 100 local employees in the next three months. But the hiring process won't be easy. The greatest problem that we are facing now is really manpower crunch. So I think um, I, I think if we could receive some help in that area, I mean personally, I feel that if it's actually even more beneficial than financial help. I'm actually looking at the area where foreign manpower quota is uh, concerned. Some of the jobs are really not popular among the locals. With the JSS ending soon, the Association of Small and Medium Enterprises says other measures can be put in place to support companies with increasing costs. Not many companies are prepared to take on you know, extended uh, COVID measures as well as the war in Ukraine that's impacting our electricity prices and then in, in many cases a supply chain like wheat. And then China now locking down and it's impacting supply chain as well. We could look at some form of rebates or some form of uh, government support to manage the supply chain costs so that it doesn't blow up too much. The association notes that smaller companies in frontline sectors like F&B and retail were hit hard by the pandemic. These firms still face tight cash flows and may take a while to recover. With the last tranche of the GSS being disbursed at the end of March, over 19,500 employers will receive a total of $145 million in the final payout. It will support about 290,000 local employees. With that, more than $28 billion of support would have been given out to local companies under the GSS scheme.